What's up friends, I'm here in Vichy city, it's the capital of a province called Futo which is north of Hanoi. It's a bit cloudy today mixed with a little bit of a smog but I'm here at Vichy lakeside and over here you can see Vichy walkway bridge and right in the middle of the bridge is a pagoda. Now I think this has been newly built because there's nothing about this bridge or the pagoda on Google at all or any of the search engines and uh, last time I was here was like about a year ago and they didn't have this here so it's good to come here and check it out but it's covered in gold and at night apparently it lights up and it's really beautiful now if you didn't know where Vichy is it's north of Hanoi in northern Vietnam and it is the birthplace of the Vietnam culture here, the Vietnam civilization. It's where the Hung Kings housed up when they first arrived here in Vietnam and basically sprung out from their roots all around the Vietnam country. But we're gonna go for a bit of a walk on this walkway and check out some of the vibes up there. I don't think much tourists have come here. So uh, it's kind of good vlogging about it first kind of thing. <laughs> Cause I tell you what, when there are like places of interest that open up that are quite new you'll see a lot of tourists flock there everyone will start vlogging about it and talking about it photos selfies all that kind of thing so i think it's good to um, get here first have a little bit of a walk around and check it out but honestly i just wanted to come and have a view of it and check out some of the vibes pretty much You can see people taking selfies. Hello. Hello. Xin chào. <laughs> Some of them even dressed in the ao zai. Traditional Vietnam dress. Okay. I think it's actually just golden paint. They love wearing the house. Hello, how are you? You want to shake my hand? You can shake my hand. Yay! <laughs> kids, gotta love the kids. Some of them are real shy here in Vietnam. But that's to be expected, you know, a lot of them don't travel outside of the country. So I think for a lot of them, it's the first time they've seen a foreigner. And so they're like, whoa, foreigner and a kind of a bigger foreigner but anyway this is the golden pagoda the bridge actually looked long from over there watching it and seeing it it actually looked quite long but when you're on it it's like kind of short wonder what's in it oh they're still doing it up Probably going to be like a restaurant or something like that. They are too. It's still like laying the floor down. As you can see. Good on them. Gold. Golden paint. Everyone's taking their selfies of the Golden Pagoda here in Vichy City. <laughs> Good thing is too, when you come here, you can grab yourself a coffee. There are lots of coffee shops around here and just normal shops. And if you've got a fishing line, you can just chuck your fishing line in. There's a few people over here with umbrellas that are fishing. I think they're just grabbing the local koi or trout. Oh, but not touch the paint could be wet. No, it's not wet. So pretty much it's just a new bridge, new pagoda. I guess millions of people are gonna come here. As I said before, 
Vichy City is the capital of Futok Province and Futok Province is like the cradle of the Vietnam culture where the Hung Kings first came to Vietnam and so I think a lot of people will flock here and check this place out probably and especially this Golden Pagoda and Bridge but I'd like to know what it will actually be probably be like a restaurant or viewing platforms maybe cafes in there shops I guess it's cool I wonder if you can like be like the gates and bridges on um, in France where you can put a padlock and say I love you and something like that a padlock of this bridge nah better not that's a French European thing it's not a Vietnam cultural thing anyway guys good to just come and check out the vibes oh see the fish it's a couple of fish that were just jumping right there quite big ones as well so all these birds are hanging around they can sense the fish around there's a few more birds coming so must be uh, snack time of the fish anyway guys it's like taking pictures of places of interest or of iconic spots nature hello how are you yeah. oh, you want a photo together sure. okay 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 okay, okay. Come, I come this side photo photo uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay. Sure, okay. Thank you. Thank you. So good. Ah, you want photo too? Okay. Another one wants a photo together. Okay. Me and you here. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What happens when you come here to Vietnam they like want to take photos with you selfies with you I think it's pretty funny to see some of the locals come up and go can I have a selfie with you let's take a picture you get it quite a lot especially in cities and villages where there aren't much foreigners when they see a foreigner it's like a wow this is a special occasion so they love to come up and get selfies and photos with you uh, especially if you're like a bit bigger than the normal foreigner it's like wow this guy's like the king kong this guy's like the he-man or whatever it is it's i don't know it's kind of like this mentality they have because they don't go out of their country so they don't see like the diversity of cultures out there in the real world um, and so when you come to their town or their city or their village it's like a eye-opener for them and it's really unique that they can come up to you and uh, take selfies with you pictures and just want to say hello to you it's like you're a celebrity but sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming especially if you just want to hang out and do your own thing and not be disturbed but uh, they'll come up and go hello what's your name can I take a photo selfie or they'll just stare at you and just keep staring and sometimes it can be a little bit annoying uh, because you know you just want to do your own thing but uh, at the same time you know myself I give them the time and uh, appreciate that they want to uh, take a photo or try and talk in English with me which is pretty cool as well anyway the Golden Pagoda here the Golden Bridge in uh, Vichy City it is time to uh, get a move on hello what's your name <laughs> your name <laughs> how are you how are you i'm fine thank you <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> see what i mean they're kind of really friendly how are you what's your name so i love coming to like these smaller towns and villages where there aren't any foreigners you get to meet the authentic Vietnamese people it's really good 